This cannot be. Could she have reacted in ways I did not foresee? Someone must have been influencing Mila, possibly controlling her. Did the Four share with her the truth? Impossible. They would never disobey my command. Mila, why did you stray from the path? I know not what to make of this. Jude seems a little different now. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, maybe he's grown a little tougher? Young men can mature dramatically in very short periods of time. Jude seems to have found the resolve to confront the harsh truths of the world. Women grow up too, you know. We have no choice but to. Yes. So you can grow big bazongas like Mila. That's... that's not the sort of growing up we mean. <laughs> I shall do whatever I must to see you all safely into adulthood. Getting tired? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, things aren't the same as they used to be. Hey, Elise, can we borrow Tipa for a sec? Huh? Give Tipa a squeeze. You'll feel better. Oh, this does feel good. Just the right amount of resistance. I could do this all day. No, stop! I can't take any more. Ah, all the stress has drained through my fingers. I know, right? It's crazy addictive. Oh no! He's gonna get all stretched out! I feel so violated!
What's going on? <laughs> Somebody help! This is terrible! And unfortunately, not surprising. Olympian soldiers are popping up in cities across Riza Maxia. Because Gillen's gone now? That's part of it, no doubt. But on top of that... Stay back, you hear me? Don't make me hurt you! He's terrified. It's Muse, isn't it? She's been swatting him like flies! Stop! Freeze! All of you! So you survived after all. Gaius! Throw him in a cell. These people are with me. Stop it! Let me go! Come quietly, or else... All of Olympias will die at this rate. What do we do to deserve this? Gillen said the same thing. Wow, Gaius, when did you start ordering around Rashigal troops? Everyone in Rashigal succumbed to terror and panic after Noctigal's death. I led them from the chaos. Wow, that's some trick! What exactly are you doing here in Fenmont? We are working with the Rashigal military to salvage the Lance of Kresnik from the bottom of the ocean. Why? What do you want with the Lance now? Exodus may be gone, but it's unlikely they've abandoned their Otherworld reactor plan. I will put a stop to it. And you? What of your plans? We want to talk with Muse. Why come find me? We heard you've been fighting her, so we figured you might know something. Your Highness, we're ready to set sail. Good. Come to the Sea Haven. How come? Come with me, and you may get your chance to see Muse. We should join him. Okay. Fenmon is such a beautiful city. They call it the spirit-lit seat of kings. Now I finally understand the spirit-lit part. When I see the lights in Fenmont, I can't help but miss how bright Lorand is. I know exactly what you mean. This place is perpetually night? I bet it must be way more exciting living here. That's just your imagination running away with you. from both Azul and Rashigal heeding his every word. That is pretty impressive, but Leia, you need to watch your tone around him. You're way too casual. I was legitimately afraid for your life. <laughs> Oops. I guess my excitement got the better of me. You think Gaius was pissed? Who knows? He never shows any emotion. A man in charge of two nations probably doesn't care about such trifles. Probably. Yeah, I thought so. It's no biggie. But try not to get carried away next time, okay? Indeed. Push a man like that too far, and you'll be dead before you see the sword leave his sheath. Yeah, next time I'll keep a lid on it. I wonder what school's like. I bet you want to go to school too, huh? Don't worry. As soon as we find a nice, safe place for you to live, you can start going. I don't want to go. Oh? May I ask why? Because if I bring Chipo to school, won't they get mad at me? You needn't worry about that. I'll ask them to let Chipo go too. I can go too? Sure. 
Leia used to take dogs and cats to school with her. Then I do want to go. Why didn't you tell us sooner? I hope we'll be able to send Elise to school soon. Indeed. And I'd like to see you continue your education as well. Mark my words, Jude. One of these days, life will return to normal. Yeah, I guess it will. Jude, what's this shiny snow? It's petals falling from the lumen trees. So, Leia, it was just you and Jude for a while, huh? Pretty much. Did you cook for him? Yeah, sure. And anything else? L like what? Elise, if you have something you want to say, come say it to me straight. You're the one who needs to be telling it straight. Nothing happened, okay? Nothing at all. Uh... Boring. That's too bad. You'll get him next time. Damn it, Elise. I can't believe you had Tipo Bad caught me like that. Huh? Huh? His Highness is already aboard. We will depart soon. Excuse me. I presume you wish to ask about Zhao. Yes. Do you know why he protected me during the battle? Perhaps he sought to make amends for his past crimes. But he ended up dying as a result. 
There are some who believe that nothing is more important than survival, but priorities change. Life starts to lose purpose when you've gone astray. Sometimes the only means to make amends for one's actions in life is to die. I don't really understand. Nor should you. You should focus instead on enjoying what you have. How do I do that? That's for you to find out. Jao's greatest wish was for you to find happiness in life. Of that I am certain. Okay, I'll find a way. That will put Jao at peace, if I may. Full of questions today, aren't we? Let me guess. Is it about His Highness? What are Gaius's plans for Riza Maxia? No doubt His Highness will one day unite this world. That should tell you what you want to know. Thank you for your time. What is it? It's nothing. Shall we move onward? I see. All that time, she was just baked. That's why I want to meet the real Maxwell. To find out the truth. He'd most likely reside in the spirit realm. But does such a place even exist? And even if it did, we have no means of getting there. Indeed, it's little more than a legend. But we know for a fact that spirits exist. So it follows that they must reside somewhere. Likewise, a path to their realm must also exist. Hey, what about Niakara? Don't they call that place the Village of the Spirits? You have a point. It lies near a mountain known as the Holomont. Perhaps you might find a clue there. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's check it out! Don't get too excited. This ship isn't turning around before we reach the Lance of Kresnik. Really? Come on, who cares about that stupid Lance? Gaius, earlier you spoke of stopping the Otherworld Reactor Plan. I suspect you're planning to invade Olympias using the Lance of Kresnik. It is for the good of Riza Maxia. Hold on. You would need massive amounts of mana to use the lance. I understand. I do not wish to sacrifice humans or spirits. Then... maybe we don't have to use it. The reality is... someone must. Are you trying to finish what Mila started? I never put it into that perspective. But inevitably, yes. That is what I'm doing. No one has ever made such a strong impression on me. Then we also need to consider the fate of Olympias. You're worried about them? At a time like this? They were willing to sacrifice every human and spirit life in Riza Maxia. Why does one side have to suffer for the sake of the other? That doesn't sit well with me. It wouldn't sit well with her either. She would destroy the schism and save everyone. That's what I want to do. I'm surprised to hear such words from you. Are you trying to repay her for what she's done for you? Yes. You've grown strong. Jude, join me and... Your Highness, we've nearly arrived. The salvage operation needs your attention. Very well. Gaius? Jude? Uh, yeah. After this, I bet that they'll rebuild the lance back at the laboratory. So then, you were listening to me- uh. What's happening out there? Incoming from the southeast! It's her! <laughs> Time to clean up. I'll slaughter every last one of you.
say stop this right now! They live? I should have known better than to trust that rogue. I'll deal with him later. But first... Someone cleaned up and rid the world of you. It won't be easy. That's confidence, despite the fact that your precious Mira is gone. Things have changed. We want to know how this happened. You'll be the one to tell us. <laughs> I'd love to see you cry. <laughs> Somehow, she didn't seem like her usual self. I can't stop! I want to get stronger! You can totally do it! All right! <sighs> it's a good thing we didn't try tackling her on our own. Muse. Why are you doing this? Why? All I am doing is... All I'm trying to do is protect Riza Maxia, that's what! I mean... How does what you're doing protect Riza Maxia? How am I supposed to know? So you are acting under order. Please, you have to tell us. Where is Maxwell? We need to know. people want with Lord Maxwell! So there is another Maxwell after all. <laughs> Muse, this can't be what Maxwell really wants, can it? Of course it can! Lord Maxwell, is this not your divine will? Lord Maxwell, please! Command me to smite these humans! To her. I do not know. Wingo, come. Yes, sir. Follow me. <laughs> Gaius, no. After His Highness, send word to the Chimeriad. And Muse. You sure this is the right place? What? Why? What's the big idea, Featherneck? Are you gonna tell us why you're doing this? Because it's dangerous. What is? Us? No, Jude. You. Why would you say that? Having Jude meet Maxwell may impede on Gaius's progress. Is that what you believe? <sighs> you think I would get in Gaius's way? Don't let them escape. Now please come quietly.
Wait, really? Now, let us find Gaius. But where'd he go? One place comes to mind. The Neocara Holomont! Yes, precisely. Come on, guys. I wouldn't mind a heads up next time you plan a rescue. What? I'm not a mind reader. When Wingle makes a decision like this, he's thinking only of King Gaius. He would do anything, and stop at nothing for the good of his king. Ugh, he must really look up to Gaius. I think it's more complicated than that. Gaius and Wingle aren't friends? They are friends. They share the same ideals, and they walk the same path. Which is what makes it so complex. They are close friends, and yet at the same time, fierce rivals. What does that mean? I don't get it. Leia, do you understand? Uh, not really. I guess it's like the dude version of being a catty schoolgirl? <laughs> that's... well, that's surprisingly accurate, actually. Ivor, what are you doing here? Did Gaius and Muse come this way? Is everything okay? Not just them. Wingle headed to the Holomont as well. He also left me with a little message. Jude may come after us. Deal with him as you wish. I was gonna let that guy off easy because he looks good in black, but now he's on my hit list. <laughs> so, Gaius abandoned you, huh? I don't expect you to understand our circumstance, but please, we don't have time for this right now. Silence! <laughs> Jude came here to finish what Mila started. None of that matters anymore, understand? What? Jude, why did it always have to be you? Everyone, go on ahead. We will have to refuse. Guys? Ha! You can't even fight your own battles! You coward! Jude just told you that we don't have time for this. Right. He has something he needs to do. We all do. 
If you would interfere with Jude, then you would interfere with us. We will pass! We'll see about that! We'll settle this once and for all. This isn't necessary! Please, just let me through! Oh, it's necessary, all right. The only thing I care about right now is defeating you. Are you serious? Oh, I am. I've never been more serious in my life. Let the spirits course through my blades and bellow. Uh, Mercer! Yeah, Go one worry. step ahead. Now! 
It's nothing. Let's go. Yes, all right. I feel much stronger. There's always room for improvement. All right. Why? Why do you always defeat me? I curse you! I'm the Handmaid. I had a sacred duty to protect Lady Mila. I'm special! Special, I tell you! Neither of us are special. Not yet, anyway, Ivor. What did you say? But that doesn't mean that I don't want to learn how to be like them. Just like Mila and Gaius. Someone like you will never be like them! You're the one who let Lady Mila die! Ivor... You loved her, too. If I really were special, then maybe I might have actually been able to save her. I'm... sorry. The Halomut is right beyond the shrine. Ivor? Go! Just go! Get out of my sight once and for all! He got out of our sight first! Hyver must have been tortured by all this. We may have just given him some bitter medicine. I hope you're right. I look forward to seeing how he acts the next time we meet him. Who knows? There may not be a next time. Let's go. Hey! Wait a minute! What's that supposed to mean? said the Holomod was past the shrine, but I don't see a path or anything. Let's take a look inside the shrine.
Looks like Ivor's angry at me again. It looked to me as though Ivor's anger was mostly with himself. I do believe you have won his approval. I have? Yes, but Ivor is a prideful man, and can ill endure the humiliation of defeat. That's probably why I got that feeling he won't show up again. You almost sound sad about that. Ivor has done nothing but yell at you. I certainly didn't like that part. But if we could have done it in a civilized fashion, it would have been nice to sit down and talk for once. I see. It's starting to rain. Are you sure we want to keep going? Yeah, it's dangerous. But we have to keep moving. My contemporaries are tending to plants in their gardens while I'm climbing on them like some young buck. I honestly don't know who should envy who. Advancing on all 
all fours. Now this is an adventure. Be careful, everyone. The terrain here doesn't seem to be very stable. Musée is like a totally different person now. She was never a person! She's a different spirit! She's no different. This was her true nature all along. I don't know if that's the case. How come? She's just been following orders this whole time. I wonder what she's feeling inside. It could be completely different from her outward actions. She might simply be lost, like I used to be. Oh, oh boy. Here we go again. Don't get me wrong. I can't forgive what she's done. It's just... I know, I know. Nice guy Jude has to walk a mile in the enemy's shoes. Just remember what we're here to do. I know. She has to be stopped. We have to stop her. Climbing a mountain in the middle of a rainstorm can be a bit taxing, wouldn't you say? You can do it, Rowan! Find cover! You witness the depths of my suffering, Lord Maxwell. And yet you never answer me. Why? Why? 
Why? Why have you forsaken me? You are a mighty spirit, and yet you are unable to think for yourself. I will not let you reach Lord Maxwell! His defense is all I have left! Foolish. No. Pitiful. Was that them fighting? It would seem we have witnessed but a fraction of Gaius's true strength. Musei didn't seem in any condition to fight, either. Yes, but speculating on the matter will get us nowhere. We must hurry on. It seems like we can find Maxwell here, too. Yeah, we're on the right path. Musei seems to be getting crazier and crazier. It isn't easy to lose the person who guides you. You don't know what you're supposed to do. You lose what little confidence you have in yourself. Hey. It'd just be easier to do nothing. Wouldn't that be okay? I couldn't respect myself if I chose that path. Yep, I'm all okay. 